Hey, what's up guys? It's Dalmans Tech here. Don't know why I said it like that. Sorry. But anyway, hey guys, it's Dalmans Tech here and I'm here today to do a video that I've been meaning to do for a long, long time now. It's called Five Ways to Speed Up Your PC and uh, it's a video response to the first part of this video which I did uh, about a century ago uh, called Five Ways to Speed Up Your Mac. Okay, so these are just going to be in completely random order, just one, two, three, four, five, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's start with number one. Actually, no, wait, I forgot. Uh, just before I start this video, uh, I want to play this for you guys. Uh, as you know, I need an intro and uh, I've been working on this over the past few days, so tell me what you think. Okay, so I'll stop talking now. Uh, I have a list here of my five things, uh, just so I can remember them because I'll probably forget them. So uh, here is number one, to clean out your unwanted files. Okay, so the first way to clean out your PC is to go into your start menu, all programs, accessories, system tools, and click on disk cleanup. And then click on your default disk, which will be highlighted anyway, and click OK. And it'll search for all the files that you don't need and in this window that comes up, click on all the boxes, tick all the boxes, and it'll say how much space you're going to gain. So 2.83 megabyte. I know it's not much, but on most PCs, uh, there will be more, way more, because um, they haven't cleaned out their systems as much as I have. So click OK, and it'll clean out all those files. Now, another way to do it is to download an application called CCleaner, and uh, it's a free application. I'll put a link to it in the description, and it basically stands for Crack Cleaner. But, um, Click on Run Cleaner once it opens, and zero bytes removed. That's because I cleaned up my system so much, but usually it'll be way more than that. Click on Registry after that. Click on Scan for issues, and there'll probably be none here because I've cleaned up my system a lot. So, no, there isn't. So, if there is any, just click on Fix Selected Issues down here, and then click on No, and then Fix All Selected Issues, and it'll clean up your system properly. Okay, so there you go. So number two is to clean up your unwanted startup items. And this can actually speed up your system startup a lot. So let's take a look. Okay, so to clean out your unwanted startup items, just click on the start menu, click on run, and type in msconfig, hit OK. And then in this window that comes up, just click on startup. And then all these applications here are the ones that open up when your system starts up. So just deselect the ones you don't want. Uh, these ones here I do actually want, but I'm just going to show you guys. So, deselect a few. And you'll probably know yourself anyway, what ones you don't want. So, uh, there's this application also that you can get that can clean out the disabled uh, startup items just to kind of clean out the list. So, it's called MS Config Cleanup, and it's a free application. I'll put a link to it in the description. So, click on that, type, click Select All, and then click Clean Up Selected. But obviously, I don't want to do that because I want those items, but there you go and then you clean out, out your unwanted startup items. Okay, so there you go. So number three is to uninstall your software that you don't need. So this seems very obvious, but it does actually speed up your system. So if you don't know how to do it, here's how. Okay, so go into your start menu, click on control panel, click on uh, programs and features. If this is in Windows Vista or 7, that's how you do it. If you're in Windows XP, by the way, uh, it'll be add or remove programs and it's basically the same thing. So just scroll down this list and just click the ones you don't want and click uninstall and um, then they'll be removed from your system and that's how to clean out your unwanted software. Okay, so number four is to turn off your appearance settings if you don't need them. Now if you really don't like, if you don't care about all the kind of windows glossy, glassy cool effects and everything and you want to turn them off, this will actually save uh, performance on your PC so here's how to turn them off. Okay, so go into your start menu, click on control panel and in this menu just click on performance information and tools and then go up to adjust visual effects and in this list here just click uh, adjust for best performance and it'll turn all these off click OK it'll turn off all the kind of windows effects and you'll be left with the kind of classic windows look uh, it'll speed up your system a good bit but I like I do like them so I'm gonna turn them back on okay so last but not least is updates and these are actually very important if you didn't know and um, if you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how, but updates do actually speed up your system a good bit and they're free, they come from Microsoft, so uh, here's how to install updates. Okay, so most people won't have to meddle with this anyway, but if you do want to change uh, your Windows updates, go into your start menu, click on all programs, and click on Windows Update. And in this window here, you'll see if there's any updates available, and there is, there's one here, so click that. And then just click install, 
and now it's up to date. There we go, that was quick. So if there is any if there's any more you can click check for updates. Okay, so there you go guys, there's my five top ways to speed up your PC. And uh, there is obviously like things like install more RAM as well, and that does help a lot. But um, not everyone can do it, and not everyone can afford RAM. So um, I didn't put that on the list. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Guess what? There's two flies mating on my window. Who would have thought? <laughs>